Aurora's ban on urban camping is now in effect, giving people three days to leave a homeless camp before it's cleared out. Number 7's Veronica Costa joins us live. And Veronica, you talked to a group that's trying to help people who have no place to go. Five out of seven days of the week, this street outreach team hits the road somewhere out in Aurora. They have a short term goal, as you can probably imagine, and that is getting water, food, a blanket, even a ride over to the Aurora Day Resource Center where people can get things like a shower, even do their laundry or apply to get their ID. And then they also have that long term goal, and that's the big one, trying to get people out of homelessness and into permanent housing. My job with the street outreach team is to come out to camps and places where people experiencing homelessness are and to offer resources to make sure that they have what they need to get their stuff back together to and basically to feel supported. Um, we have to come out and make connections and kind of build those relationships with folks a lot. Mile High Behavioral Health Care's street outreach team, it's made up of two people, Michael Smith and Aaron Kay. The two, they start off the day by picking up that shuttle, they drive around Aurora, and then they check on a special system. It's a website that Aurora residents use to report graffiti, broken city lights, and location of encampments as well. On the day we visited the team, they stopped by two different encampments. They started off by greeting some of the people who live there. They offered food and other items in a bag, and then they offer a ride over to the Aurora Day Resource Center, where again, people can shower. They can get help from a caseworker as well. Some, as you can imagine, they choose to go. Others, though, they need just a little bit more time. We meet a lot of new people, a lot of familiar people, and you never know, like, um, like you, you see a lot of um, a lot of people every day going like, oh, uh, next time, next time, and you think that's going to be forever. But sometimes people do change their minds and they do want to get out of their uh, whatever uh, funk they're in right now. Aurora's urban camping ban that goes into effect today. We asked both Smith and Kay if they think their job's going to change starting today. They said they aren't sure, but they are sure about one thing. They're going to keep going out there and keep trying to help as many people as they can. We're live in Aurora this morning. I'm Veronica Costa, Denver 7. Well